Hey, welcome back. This is our day four in Vietnam, and we are here. Arrived in Dallas at 3 a.m. in the morning. Well, we were lucky enough finding Pine Town Backpack Hostel in the middle of night, just for another couple of hours late. So, let's start over today again from waking up in the Pine Town Backpack Hostel around 9 a.m. From here, we ordered a grab going to our hotel Rowan Villa which was originally the only accommodation we planned to stay in Dalat. It costed us VND 300,000 night per night in Rowan Villa. While we were waiting for the room to be ready, we went for morning coffee and breakfast near the hotel. After checking in, we decided to spend time resting first as we were still feeling tired, extremely tired after whole sleeper bus travel. So it was about 2 p.m. when we really started our day exploring the city on a motorbike rented from the hotel. Well, we were not in the mood visiting crowded tourist places, so food first again. And here is our lunch place, La Chalat Dalat. It is located in front of the crazy house in case you plan to visit, though we didn't. Compared to Ho Chi Minh City, restaurants in Dalat are more expensive for our experience. You can tell this by just simply comparing the beer prices. Although it started raining after lunch, we still decided to go to Lang Po Pagoda. We arrived almost at the closing time, but it was still open as many tourists got stuck in the rain and waiting inside of the temple. Grandly, we got to spend some time there after a 30-minute ride in the chilly rain. It's also a beautiful and colorful temple. Around 6 p.m., although it was still raining, we had to go as the sky started turning darker and darker. Jin was craving for some Indian flavors, so we ended up in Sri Ganesh Indian restaurant for dinner. It was after being seated. We found this is actually a good spot for sunset view, so definitely give it a try to have dinner here if the weather doesn't treat you horribly. And the chef also cooked beautiful like northern Indian food there. In the following day, we searched our breakfast in the market area and found this unique vitamin style baguette with meatball soup and realized this is the signature breakfast in Dalat, farming and siu-mei. After that, we tried to look for a cafe with view just for a short time as we were tied on time for our bus schedule to Hui An at 2 p.m. However, we learned that the sleeper bus never goes as planned in Vietnam. Well, originally, we were supposed to get picked up by a uh, shuttle bus at 1.45 p.m. from the hotel. As instructed by the travel agent, somehow the driver couldn't make it. However, they only told the travel agency after we waited them for about almost one hour in the hotel. So we had to order another grab and rush to the bus company site. By the way, the view to Hui and from Dalat was supremely beautiful from our bus. Don't miss it, even though the winding roads will really give you a headache. So see you on Hui and trip.